All right, y'all. Um, how to make a beat that sells. Um, I'm going to go over a lot of the elements of the beat. Um, I guess I'm going to play the beat. Let's play the beat real quick. Um, this is an idea I got, so let's just check it out. Breakdown. It's coming at you. Um, let's break down some of the elements. Let's, in fact, let's just start from the top. I'm gonna try to break down uh, frequencies. Okay. Um, in the intro, I'm I'm trying to do a little something different in the intro, and then impact the beat coming in. The three different kick drums, and then the main the main body of the song has a different. So it's four bass kick drums. So let's let's go over that real quick. We have <clears throat> So it's a rhythm in the in the kick drum. So my rhythm already I just don't have one kick drum going doom 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 doom. The kick drum has a rhythm. Doom 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 doom. And the last one is like the lowest, so to speak, the lowest frequency. I had it up a little louder at the bottom, but um, you, you want to be very careful of your kick drums low end. Um, it'll jump in the club. Everybody want to put too much bass in your bass kicks and in your bass line. So you want to watch that for one thing. Um, and then you have... I'm just gonna turn them on one at a time. I got a action strike. In fact, my kick drums is coming from a professional sound designer, um, Super Macho, which is right here. Let's play this by itself again. So you see the three. You can actually see it moving. And I added some little EQ on one of them, which is that low one. So that low one has um, a little more kick on it, bass on it. See how this EQ light comes on right here? So uh, I cheat a little bit and give it a little teeny bit more. <laughs> so that ain't going to make no difference. But anyway, then you have your action strikes, which is another native instrument. And it would come up over here. I. Right. Now, when the action strikes start, it's actually. If you hold the key down, it actually plays a, a funky little rhythm. So when I was producing this, I actually was liking that. So I said I hold it out a little longer. So it goes, I'm actually playing the rhythm of doom, doom, doom. And the last one, doom, 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 I'm holding it. So that gives it a moving ry rhythm, motion. So you hear those two things in the beginning and then um, motion, I like a lot of motion. Then you have the hi-hat, which is regular hi-hat. And the hi-hat is trying to play the same rhythm with them, but playing on a hi-hat rhythm, so to speak. So you know, trying to get get with the kick drums. So you have to try to 
make sense of everything playing together, which is and try to pick professional sounds. So now we got those two. The kick doesn't come in until later on in the song. So once the kick comes in, it's around. I try to use the same type of kicks that I be hearing in songs. And I EQ'd it just a little bit, just a just to give it a little more of a round. What else we have on there? That's it. We got a little teeny bit of reverb on there, but um, I don't think that makes any difference. All right, now let's go with the high stick, which is um, when the beat comes in, I play it from here. And I put a little lo-fi on there. Every sound that I use, I try to tweak a little bit and we got a little reverb, double reverb on there. Um, some of my plugins have their own little reverbs and effects and different things. So I try to use those. Let's hear it without the, the let's hear the stick by itself without the, all this good stuff on there, which is, I got a little imp, imp, little effects on it. Let's take the effects off. It's dry. This is dry. That's not what I had, but <laughs> put it back close to what I had. So we got the. And that actually plays. Let's see. I try to put a little reverb on it so it wouldn't sound um, thin. And it actually sounds like everything else in there. So now we got the... Okay, now, along with the stick, I got some back sticking, which is a different sound. My computer is very powerful. And you can... I know a lot of people in the comments or something would say, well, you could have just use one native instrument and stack them all together. But when I'm producing, I'd like to just pull up a whole nother sound because I never know in between here, you can actually pull up sounds in between um, in here. But anyway, let's go over this. So these two are playing a rhythm together. So you got your stick. Okay, now when the intro comes in, you have this sound, which is. And I wanted it to fade out a little bit before the beat comes in, so I didn't play it all the way. Bam! I wanted to zzzz and feel the, the effects. I'm trying to use as much as they. That, zzzz, that extra zoop will be at the end, still on the downbeat. So. All right, so that's that sound, which is, this is coming from Omnisphere. Omnisphere, well, actually, it's coming from Omnisphere, but um, this is a plugin that I bought, I purchased from um, um, Elio. So Elio, and it's called um, Excursion. <laughs> so I buy a whole lot of sound libraries and different things. So um, get your sound libraries up, people. So here we go. So we got, now to get the bass sound, I'm using two bass at the same time. We're using two bass, so let's, I'm gonna play both of them together. So let's go over the first bass. Here we go.
Now, this base, I actually put a sub on here. It's called Submarine because I wanted that low end. And then I was watching my levels. You got to watch your levels. So when you put this Submarine on there, it go deep in the basement. So try to drive it just a little harder. Now, let's hear it without it on there. So let's back up. The bottom, I don't know if y'all can hear the bottom, but the bottom. Yeah. So that along with, with this bass, that danger. <laughs> That's for the high end. You When you plan your bass, even the kick drum, you got to put some highs on it because cell phones and different things that people might play your music out of don't have 18-inch subs or any type of subs. They're hearing it like through earbuds, through your cell phone, um, through a little radio speaker. So you want to represent the highs that represent uh, what the bass guitar is doing or bass line is doing. So it sounds... And what I did was, and I didn't know if I was going to like this or not, so the sub is not on here. But the first time the beat, let's play this one by itself. The first time it's low. Then I played it high. And I'm chopping it on purpose. I'm chopping it to pull it back so the, the low end can, can ride over. This is chopped. And go. Now this walks the whole line. And then it loops back. Um actually I need to put this last beat right there because it, it cuts, but that'll be a good cut. Anyway, um, so these two play together. Let's hear them one more time together. So you still hit that. Hit that bottom on the hit that bottom then it, together that's the turnaround your turnaround so um the turnaround is coming right back down to the one down 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 da, da, da. you know that's the turnaround so anyway uh let's see what this is right here this is from the top all right this is my movement I like a lot of movement, motion type stuff. So I found this sound. I built the whole song around this sound and the, the kick drum, the, the body of the kick drum. So that plays in and out throughout the song. Now, the way that, that sound is moving, I kind of sat here and played the, the, the piano, I played the keyboard along with, with it. So when this comes in, and this plays throughout the song a whole lot, when this sound come in. Now, when this sound right here drops off, it drops off right here on the downbeat. This sound comes in, which is a cello, and I played that note for note, what they was doing. Until I got it right. <laughs> so um, when this comes in, Then the cellos come in. Hey. And the other sound dropped out. Then they all come back in and play together. So um, sequence and, and bring sounds in and out intentionally. So last but not least, we got this sound. I don't even know what it is, but I see a little mock right there. So let's see what this is doing. We cut this off. And 
this is a um I like to do uh a build up to the next breakdown. So Alright, that's a little air. I bring that up just a tab. Alright, so and this is from Omnisphere. Omnisphere. Okay, signs of the time. Um, I just threw that in. As soon as I pulled this up, that just fell right in place. So now one of the things I didn't go over is these frequencies, man. So let's go back to the top. Like the stick, I kind of EQ'd a little bit to dip some of the sound out. This is on the stick right here, I think. <laughs> yeah. I wanted that stick to be the main to stick out. I wanted this stick to be the main thing that sticks out in the song. That cha, 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 cha. So that's what um, I'm thinking that's going to drive the rhythm while um, the rappers are rapping. Um, and also, this is a beat for the World's Lives Rap Contest. Um, Unify, I did a little EQing on that, and it's the sub. I boost up the sub. Most of the time, I do a cut but I boost up the sub on this one. And since this is the bass, both of these are bass. And on this one, I did a heck of a cut on the bass because I just wanted that air. And I love to put a lot of highs. I just added some highs without even listening to it, y'all. Here we go. So the first bass got the bass in it. So that's no cut on that one. But on the second bass, we're cutting some of the frequency. We don't want all that bass to. And them cellos help it to start really coming at you, like the second gear. You you want your music to hit a second gear. Then the second gear come in. And I might add some more sounds to it, like later on once somebody drops some vocals and stuff on it. Um, It's a cello EQ. The cello EQ. What I'm doing is I'm trying to EQ out certain frequencies to make room for the other sounds that's using, that's dominating in those frequencies. So it's important. It's very important to filter out, not all of it, but filter out so the other rhythms of a different sound can actually have more room. Each sound that you're putting in your in your music, you want to try to separate the frequencies. I should talk more on that because that's very, very important. The kick drum. You can't have a kick. Then you have the sub. Then you got the bass line. Then you have all this bass in your voice. And all that stuff is fighting. Something got to be present and everything else got to be tucked under different things. Sometimes when the bass line is playing in music and then the kick drum hits, you can actually do a side chain and actually duck. Every time that kick hits, the bass will duck so the, the kick drum will be more present. You know, things like that. So these are some of the elements that the professionals use when they're making beats. So everything can ha kind of breathe on its own. So the cellos 
have a nice dip right here because something else is dominating around 300 frequency. Around 300, y'all. Here we go. Actually, actually what's dominating in those frequencies is what the cello is playing with, which is this Allen type sound, even though I don't have an EQ. I don't have an EQ'd any. These EQs are so big, I'm trying to get both on the... See... Even though I didn't boost it up any, it's kind of um, dominating right in this area. So let me do a little EQing on it. I'm gonna put some highs on it. Love the highs. <laughs> Now I'm working, y'all. I'm working, so I'm actually putting. Um, I think I want this 2K to stick out a little more. That's enough. That's enough. Um, now, so these frequencies are more around the 300. I trimmed some of the low off so the bass will have a little more breathing room, so to speak. Um, so let me play it from the top, man. Love them action strikes way in the basement. I love those action strikes. They way in the... They're not too loud. They... They in the background, like shum, dum, dum, in the basement, you know. And then the kick drums bring them out of the basement. <laughs> 